Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. Love is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire. I fell into a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went up higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. The taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. I fell you for, I fell. For you like a child. Oh, but the fire went wild. Are you guys singing with me? I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went up higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. Oh, I fell into a burning ring of fire. It went down, 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 and the flames went up higher. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Hold on. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. He just picked up our trash can, and it was full of empty Captain Morgan bottles from the decorations. Did you hear it? it went... <laughs> Okay, ring of fire, ring of fire. Hi guys, welcome to Bells Bargains. My name is Amy. Good morning, besties. And guess what today is? It is shopping Saturday. So excited. All right, like I have so many things to talk to you guys about. So let's see. First of all, I almost sang take this job and shove it. I said not to because um, I'm off to work today. So it should have been a four-day weekend, but we, and we were going to go away for the weekend and we didn't go because... Um, I really need to get in there and get trained more on stuff. So anyway, so I'm doing this before I go off to work today. Okay. But I ended up singing Ring of Fire by who else but Johnny Cash, of course. Such a great song. And I should have done it as a duet with Marcus. Oh, well. The reason I sang it was because he has the wedding ring that I gave him. And it's getting all, um, it's getting all irritated underneath because it's a fairly large ring. So he's not used to that. And so I'm like, it's a ring of fire. <laughs> the things that make me chuckle. Okay, so let's get all caught up. Let's see, today is Saturday, the last Saturday of the month. So besties, all of you that did the donation for a child, don't forget, today's the day to send me all that stuff via my Facebook page. I know some of you have already started. So let's not forget that. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Consider sticking around and subscribing and hitting that like button. This is a fun channel. We do Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree used to be a dollar. <laughs> now it's going up. I, I don't know when it's going to hit all of the Dollar Trees. Because some of them are going to $1.25. Somebody just messaged me. Um, was it Amy? Barker Mama? Did, was it you? I think so. That there was another Dollar Tree Plus that opened up down there in Tucson. I haven't gotten any up here. Why? I don't know. Somebody tell me. Anyway, um, so... They used, everything used to be a dollar. Now it's up to $5 if you go to a Dollar Tree Plus. And I know on the East Coast, they've already started switching some of them to a dollar 25. So I don't know how they're picking where they're popping them up to a dollar 25 or not. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Even at a dollar 25, it's going to be amazing because there's still so many fun finds that you can find at the Dollar Tree. However, will it make me think twice about some of those things? Yeah. Because now at a dollar 25, I'm like, I don't really want to throw away the extra quarter. I don't know why. But that, for me, I'm like, mm, mm mm So, okay. So today, just in case you're brand new to the channel, normally, my normal uploads every week would be Totally Easy Tuesday, which is crafting for the non-crafter. Theme Thursday, which is crafting with a theme, usually a little bit harder. Foodie Friday, which is where I do Dollar Tree food reviews. And Shopping Saturdays, which are shopping hauls, like today. And then sometimes I'd throw in a Wild Wednesday, which is who knows what it would be. Or it'd be a Sunday special, which would be something at extra like usually a haul but but that's all out the window right now for December so I wanted to announce to all of you guys what I'm doing for December all right so last year for December I did this 
somebody commented, I can't remember who now. I'm so behind on my comments. We'll talk about that in a minute too. That um, they had watched my 25 days of December last year and they hoped I did it this year. Well, I am. And it's probably something I'm always going to do because I kind of like that it totally switches it up for Christmas. So what I did last year was I did crafts every day. So it was 25 days of Christmas. And last year I was brand new, so I was still really trying to figure it out. This year, I'm only going to do basically like one craft and they're going to be shorter videos every day. So um, they're easier to make and then I'm just going to get through to do 25 crafts for Christmas. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying there might not be one or two that has more than one craft, like for totally easy ones or something. But what I want you guys to know is there will not be a Foodie Friday in December. I have stuff here to do one actually. And so if Marks has time to do one with me, I might do one, but that'll be a random one. So I'm really not gonna be doing Foodie Fridays, but I will still be doing shopping hauls. So on Saturdays, technically you're gonna get two videos because you're gonna get one of the days Christmas and then a shopping haul. So the other thing is normally for the challenge, which again, remind you guys that the challenge is today to get me all of your stuff for the challenge. So next month would be a challenge. And um, so I haven't really decided but I think, <laughs> I don't know what my challenge should be. So the thing is, the challenge is I don't want it to be Christmas because the last Saturday of the month, Christmas is, oh, the last Saturday of the month is Christmas, isn't it? Hold on. The last Saturday of the month is Christmas. Okay, so... I don't know, um, what I would like to do is for the, the, the thing this year is to do an angel. I didn't realize the last Saturday was the 25th. Anyway, I was trying to think of something that wasn't specifically Christmas, although we make angels a lot about Christmas, but it's perfect actually, because Christmas falls on the 25th, which would be the day to send me all of your stuff, which would be Jesus's birthday. And there was an angel. So an angel craft, and it can be anything that you see that as, like however you see an angel craft. So this month, angel craft. And the only rules I have about this subscriber challenge is that all of your supplies come from the Dollar Tree. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I have no idea, but that's okay. So I was, I mean, I thought about Christmas trees and bells and blah, 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 but um, randomly, I maybe if somewhere in my head I knew that the 25th was the last Saturday. Anyway, so an angel craft. This time. What do you guys think? You like it? Okay. Let's talk about the haul I have here. Um, so it's sort of a random haul. By the way, bonus video, hopefully next Tuesday, Amy and I are doing $5 gift baskets. $5 gift baskets. So five for five. Five gift baskets that are $5. That's next Tuesday. So next Tuesday happens to be the last day before the first, right? December 1st is a Wednesday. So then Wednesday, we'll start my 25 days of Christmas. I hope you guys followed all that. All right, let's get into this haul, please. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with food. Now, I'm not doing Foodie Friday, but I found some things I wanna share with you guys. Okay, so these I've bought there before, but I just wanna say it again. These are such a good buy, and we take them to our property, and they're, the shelf life on these is so good. So the, the, this milk, is, is it's good, you guys. There's nothing wrong with it. August 26th of 22, and this one is July, July 26th of 22. So they have good shelf life. Now what I do is I take these up there, we rotate, we have a rotation of food, so, um, but so that there's always milk up there. It's a pain to get milk up there cold. It's like a four hour drive for us. Um, and so we have a fridge in the RV, so we can get it up and we get it cold when we're up there. And that's just a much easier way. If I drop this, it doesn't bust open. You know, it's a more reasonable size. So I love those from the Dollar Tree and they're a good buy. Then <clears throat> I bought some more of these because this is the positive energy beverages. I love these. Now, I haven't tried the mandarin orange. So I found a new flavor. I was like, wait, what? And orange happens to be like my favorite drink flavor. Not, I don't drink like sun-kissed carbonated orange. I like if there's a, if there's a water, Oh, I want the orange water, and um, actually I buy these. It's not carbonated, right? The sun-kissed orange. They're another item I bought today. <laughs> I buy these to mix. We have them in the fridge all the time. 
instead of drinking sodas. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so I found the Mandarin Orange. I'll let you know how it tastes because I haven't tried it yet. Actually, do I have one in the fridge? Maybe I can. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. All right, let's do it. Okay, if you guys don't know anything about these, these have zero calories. They're not full of cal uh, caffeine. They're caffeine-free. This is 100% natural flavors, antioxidants, 60, 66 milligrams of vitamin C. So this is in, this has like all these vitamins. Fuel your day with simply better ingredients. Think positive. It makes a difference. Vitamins and calcium boost. So for pre-osteoporosis person, I should be drinking these a lot. But orange. Mm, let's see. Yeah, my favorite. Mm. Slightly tart, but I like that. Okay, these are good. I will buy them every time I'm there, especially now that I'm going off to work every day. So I take a lunch sack, I bring my own lunch, and then, you know, you bring a couple of beverages. I will definitely bring that. Speaking of beverages, I also found, I don't remember who messaged me, they told me they found these, and I walked in, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so these are the Jelly Belly Jelly Belly beverages. Now let's talk about these. First of all, there's three flavors. There's very cherry. There's watermelon. Mm, not big, but do you remember the drink that I tried that was watermelon? It was phenomenal. And I was like, wait, what? Never would have thought. And this one, probably my favorite, orange sherbet. I haven't tried these yet. I'm telling you about them because I will try them in my videos to come. So I, I'm like, I'm thinking like, since I'm not going to be doing Foodie Fridays, I'll do some of the beverages. Every time I do a video, I'll have a beverage. All right. So these have zero calories. The ingredients are carbonated water and natural flavor. They're distributed by the Joffer Beverage Company out of Jacksonville, Oregon, and Jelly Belly Candy Company, Fairland, California. So naturally flavored with, it's a sparkling water. I'm super excited to try these. And basically, they all have the same ingredient and they all have zero calories. So, I'm going to put these in my fridge. I did not buy a ton in case they were gross. So, I'm going to put them in my fridge, try them, and then I'll buy more of the ones that I like. Yeah? If I find them, hopefully. So, th those are new there. I've never seen those there before. And somebody told me about them before I found them. Then I found this yesterday. This is last night on the way home from from work. We went into work yesterday, didn't leave work until 7.30. We didn't go until noon either. And I was like, I have to stop at the dog tree on the way home. <laughs> He'd stop for my haul. So um, anyway, so this is brand new Bisquick cheese garlic. Now I'm going to, I'm going to make these, um, not today, not anytime soon, because I still have leftover stuff that I'm getting through from the wedding that we froze and I'm using up. But these are good till, so hate it when we can't read them. I think it's Jan. Oh no, October of 22, October of 22. These are good too. So these look really good. So also, um, you, all you need, just add water. Don't you love that? Like talk about easy. This is the perfect th kind of thing too, for me to take up to the property because it's just add water so I can bake with it. And this, and I only cook on the open fire there. So this would be interesting to figure out how I could do it on an open fire, but I think I could with disposable muffin pans i think i could do it that's what i'm gonna try i'm gonna try that anyway so but no, mostly they say like just mix it and then drop spoonfuls on a cookie sheet well i mean i could try that too i suppose on an open fire but love these cheese and garlic like wait what okay that's all the food i have right then let's move on to cleaning supplies i only bought one thing and that was dryer sheets all right so long time ago i bought these when I found them there. And they were the breezy dryer sheets, lavender. There's 55 in here, 55. They work fabulous. I've been using them. I mean, I think that was like six or seven months ago. I bought like a couple boxes, five boxes, I think. I mean, I used a lot, but then I'll use dryer sheets for other things too, like to stick in tennis shoes, to freshen up the smell in those or yeah, anyway, so I use dryer sheets for other things. You put them in the in your the filter of your vacuum to smell good when you vacuum. Anyway, but what I did was, so I got the lavender, and this one is Sun Sky Fresh. Sun Sky Fresh. I don't know. Okay. 
This one is fresh linen. And this one is floral bouquet. But 55 dryer sheets for a dollar. And they work, you guys. There's well, soon to be a dollar twenty-five, I suppose. Still, that's a good buy. Um, so I stocked up on those because I was down to my last box. So you know the old saying. Two is one, one is none. So if you have two of something, you really only have one. And if you have one of something, you have none because you're going to run out at some point. Health and beauty aisle. Um, we use this stuff all the time. Arm and, Hammond foot, Arm and Hammer foot powder. He puts it in his shoes every day and it works great. So it was getting low. So threw one of those in the cart. These are brand new. And I was like, what is this? Um, this is what got me there. Gray guard. So I had purchased the women's power stick blonde purple shampoo because he's got so much gray so i'm he didn't know about purple shampoos till he met me and it's so funny because we were looking at pictures the other day and i was like see see how like yellow your gray was so he uses purple shampoos now but then they came out with a gray guard by power stick so we'll try this one then the the charcoal powder deep cleanser i was like yes and then the full and thick shampoo which i'm gonna try so I just got one of each of the power stick things to give them a try because not all of the power stick things have been amazing. Like the foam pump soap is like, yeah. Anyway, so you got to be really careful and try them first before you buy a bunch of those. They look like they're going to be around though, I guess, at the Dollar Tree for a while now. I guess. I don't know. And um, then I found the Be Pure Power Facial Cleansing Brush and these. All the heads. Whoops. So this is um, replace your brush head every three months. So removes dirt, oil, and makeup gently exfoliates. Um, this is really cool. I don't know if it's like going to be amazing and work amazing, but manufactured for four star group. Uh, I don't. Can let's open it up. Let's open it up. Let's just open it up and see what it looks like. I'm sure, it doesn't have batteries in it, so I would need to put batteries in it. So that's what it looks like. It has the little head here and it's So then they also have the sponge head. Like, I feel like this would be good for, for working in some of your moisturizer, maybe. I don't know. By the way, I have absolutely no makeup on today except lipstick because I had irritation in my eyes. And I'm like, last night. So I'm like, I'm going to work anyway. I'm not going to irritate him anymore. Anyway, so look through this. I think this would also make a fantabulous gift. I'm so stinking dumb. This would have made a great $5 gift, right? These four things plus a face cleanser, a facial cleanser. So there's one idea. I'm not even putting it together, but there's a $5 gift right there for you. Facial cleanser and, and these, and then wrap it all up in a, in a face towel. Well, that'd be $6. Okay. But you get where I'm going. So, right. Then these are brand new, and I buy these all the time because we do take these to the property because taking a shower is nearly impossible because it's a little RV shower, and we have to pump in our water. So anyway, so we use these a lot. And besides that, you take a shower, and then you go out and you smell like campfire. What the heck is the difference? <laughs> Going to smell like campfire no matter what. But I was like, wait, this is Yardley, and it says naturally inspired Yardley Lend disposable washcloths alcohol-free, enriched with aloe vera, chamomile, and vitamin E. It doesn't apparently, there doesn't apparently seem to be a scent. I don't really want to open them because, but I'm going to try and peek into them, maybe. No, I have to like open the thing. No, I don't. Yeah, there's really not a strong scent. It smells like a, it smells like a, just like a cleaning smell, like a clean smell. So, well, that's good. That's what we want, right? Um, but it's Yardley, and I was kind of shocked. So, I don't know. If you use the disposable washcloth things, it's probably worth a shot to try them. Um, they have so much lawn, um, Yardley stuff there right now. So, 18 large washcloths. All right. And they're large. That makes a huge difference, too. Like, the, the larger the washcloth, the better the clean. <laughs> probably not true. Then Vaseline Intensive Care All-Purpose cream, cream. So this is with Vaseline, Jelly, Glycerin, and Vitamin D. Okay, so Vaseline All-Purpose Cream. 
rough elbows, dry knee, cracked heels, dry hands. It shows on the back. This is, um, what size is this? Interesting, there's no size. It seems awkward. Why wouldn't it be? Well, let's pull her out and see if it's on there for healthy skin. I wonder if, oh no, it's 1.4. 1.4 and 1 ounce. Okay, but you guys, um, so first of all, this is a great travel size, right? But this stuff, when you were, have you ever, let me just say it this way. Have you ever out of the shower put like um, baby oil on while your skin is wet? And then it mixes with the water and and rubs in. Okay. So I used to do it with Vaseline too. That you just take a little bit of Vaseline with your water to, to soften your skin. Um, Vaseline on lips is amazing. Listen, Vaseline is amazing. So like I'm thinking like this little size here to throw in a purse. Great little stocking stuffer. Why didn't I think of that? I think of it when I'm talking to you guys. In the store, I think I'm... My sensories are overloaded. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do. There's so much stuff. I catch the stuff. I mean, I do catch stuff. I literally ran through the store last night with Marcus and found all these things, like these brand new items, because that's how in tune I am with the Dollar Tree. Like, I went, that's new. <laughs> like, so I found this. I love this stuff. It's super amazing. So what I was going to say to you is that I'm going to try it after a shower when I'm still wet. I'm going to try putting it on. So I do that with coconut, uh, coconut oil coconut lo actually they sell a coconut oil lotion at Dollar Tree that I've used quite a bit but I try and switch it up I feel like your body gets used to things so I try and switch it up I'm like maybe this will moisturize better because you're just sick of the other one anyway this is brand new I really love this all-purpose cream also thought about he's Marcus has cuticle issues right now because of the dry weather and we're you know anyway it's a guy thing I think every man I've ever known has had that problem so for maybe to try on those areas too. All right. And then um, for your hoo-ha, <laughs> I'm always telling you guys this. Uh, listen, I buy it there and it's totally fine and it works great. I, I should know, okay? As a newlywed. <laughs> Ladies, I think it's very important for us to keep our hoo-ha fresh and clean. Um, okay. So I buy this there. I show you every time to remind you that it's important. Then on the makeup aisle, which was right next door, we'll drop the public service announcement right now. Um, these were brand new and I was like, mm. so these are Kiss, Kiss nail stuff, which is normally you would see at Wal Walgreens, Walmart, you know, um, anyway. But, so I've used these before and I actually like them. I didn't buy a bunch of different patterns because I just don't need them. But this is, I wanted to show you this one because this is gel dress. Okay, so the difference with the gel dress, if you read the back, it says smooth on, file, file, you file the extra off, apply top coat, apply kiss double up top gel and cure with kiss LED lamp. All right, so there's the instructions. But I'm thinking like, yeah, but if you don't have the LED lamp. So this was obviously something that was sold as part of like with their LED lamp and you would buy the, double up top coat and so on and so forth. That's okay. I'm gonna try them anyway. And the reason I'm gonna try them, I'm gonna tell you guys, I've used the peel and stick nails before. Trick, always put a top coat on them. So put them on, put a top coat, and then double check your top coat like every day. You can keep them for a fairly long time if you do that, if you just, you know, double, like if the top coat's wearing off, like with me, if I do dishes or am I doing a lot of crafts or something like that. And then I just put more top coat on. Okay, then I also found this, which I love these. These are for the toes. They last even longer on the toes because, of course, we don't use our toes like we use our hands. Some people do, I'm sure. But this is like, it's so cool. So um, look for these. Great stocking stuffers for ladies and teens and preteens. These are just wonderful. I know the toes is out of season, but that's why it's there. So remember that because it's really a summertime thing, buy them now for your summer fun. Okay, so Kiss is there, not like Kiss, like, Beth, I hear you calling, but I can't come home right now. That would be Kiss, but this is Kiss the Nail brand. Okay, books, I did find a couple books. Um, I'm, I'm, You know I love to look through the books and buy stuff. So this one is just hysterical, it's called Sticky Kitty, Create a miniature world of super cute paper cats. 
You gotta be a real cat person to do this. I mean, I'm saying. And then somebody made a book about it. Let's ponder that for a moment. So one day, some person said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a book. I'm gonna write a book. And it's gonna be how to make paper kittens. Paper cats. I mean, I could see doing a book on how to make paper animals, but an entire book on paper cats seems a little obnoxious in my world, but I bought it. You know why? Because it was only a dollar. And in the United States of America, this book sold originally for, hold on, I'm getting there. I forgot to do this beforehand. That's because I'm trying to be, oh my gosh. It's like everything else I can see except for the price. <laughs> this one little one little piece of paper is covering it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, do it for me. Yeah, $16.95. I know why this is at the Dollar Tree. Okay, now, don't get me wrong. It's cute. It says, learn how to cut out all your favorite kitty breeds and tons of classic cat poses and stick them anywhere you like. So, and then it says, construct cute dioramas. Remember, I couldn't come up with that word? Construct cute dioramas for your new friends to play in. Check this out. What is going on in your life that you have that much time? I mean, it's just hysterical. Just look at this picture. Now, if you know a crazy cat lady, this is the perfect book. Okay, actually, I do. So, I mean, just the pictures inside are making me die. Like, literally, this is what the, you made a book about cutting out cats out of paper. Okay, and then so, but there's like, there's all these, there's all these patterns in here. Now, I can see cutting this book apart <laughs> and using the, the different little pictures in here. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Sticky Kitty's Behaviors. Here are sticky note cutouts of various cats' poses and behaviors. Try imagining their adorable actions when making your cutouts. Hey, I have an idea. Just go get a cat. By the way, end of video, cat video. Just go get a cat. You can watch them be cute. You don't have to cut them out. I just don't understand this, you guys. I really don't. Okay, but anyway, you know I had to get it. I was like, wait, what? Okay, then this book, which is the ultimate book about me, and this one was $14.99. So I got this for, I will give it to one of my grandchildren. I don't know which one yet. But this is really cool. So it's discover what makes you you, and this is supposed to be like a mirror in the front. But in the inside, it's like, um, what does it, what am I afraid of? How can I be fearless? How did I learn to speak? This is a good one. How did I learn to speak? And it teaches them, it's a book about like discovering how your body works, right? Done in test your memory quiz. They talk about memory, um, the mystery of dreaming. How much sleep do I need? Like, this is really cool. Which part of the brain does what? Look at this. Boy, especially if you had a kid, like I'm guessing like 8, 9, 10, 11, who was really interested in science, this would be a great book. If I had found two, I would have bought two. So this is going to be a present for one of my grandsons, and they're nine, and I think this is perfect. I'm on the, I'll be on the hunt for another one. I just think it's like super cool. And then it like, um, how will I change as I grow? Just super cool book for a dollar. Need I say more? Now this book was nineteen ninety nine in the U S. and this is ha hashtag How to Live. Okay, so this is sort of a social media book. So these two sisters, it's all about that they basically created their own style and so on and so forth. But it's so up my alley. I think I'm keeping it. For instance, they talk about um, like. Things that you can do just to change, to be different and change your style and, you know, anyway, like blinging their cell phone. Anyway, it's really an interesting book. 36 Seriously How-To Projects on Style, Nail Art, Blogging, and More. So this is probably going to be a bathroom read for me. And um, I'm just, I just think it's fun. It's just a fun, like, it says record, how to record a kiss-ass video. Okay. I guess you're kissing ass. No Ebbingham. There's no donkey or ass in the house. Sometimes you are, though. Goodness gracious. Ebbingham has not yet been adorned with his Christmas stuff. That should happen next week. 
because this weekend I thought I would get to that, but we ended up working. Okay, let's move on to um, craft, craft your square stuff. So I had not seen this before. It's the colorblind stickers, but I think they're very cool. Um, it says be colorblind and like, see, it's got the rainbow with all the different colors. It's a representation of all of our skin colors. And so I'm going to stick that away and to use on some cards for the kids or something like that. I'll find the right thing to use it for. Then I found this and I was so excited. This is going in my DT threads. So this is an iron on transfer. I'm making myself a shirt that says girl power. Can you look at her? Look at that girl. I feel like we're twins. She's a big girl. You know what? Big is coming back. Keep telling yourself that, Amy. Keep telling yourself. Okay. But I was like, that's so cool. I really love this. So I literally am going to make a t-shirt for myself for my DT threads. One of my DT threads will be that. I was like so excited. I think it's just really cool. And it's an iron on. So then, speaking of iron ons, I'm going to show this now, even though it wasn't in the craft stuff. But then they had these women's tank tops. Um, they're by Anvil Ladies Tank Tops. This is a 2X, which I love to get a 2X because it will fit around the chest area in a tank top. And I was thinking, I'm going to make this my Girl Power t-shirt. So that's why I'm showing it to you right now. So I'll take my t-shirt and I think I'm just going to put like Girl Power right here. Or maybe off to the side. I haven't decided. I'll look at it when I do it. But like Girl Power, so cute. It's not a skinny little Barbie thing. Don't you love that, ladies? Come on. I know you do. All right, I actually got two of those tanks for myself. In the crafter stuff, I found these. These two are brand new. So summery, so I'm not sure why they're out right now, but we never know. Obviously, I picked one each up to throw into my craft supplies. I have no idea what I'll do with them. And I did have a thing to do, a bunch of butterfly stuff, which I think I will do next, next year. So they keep popping out with new wood stuff like i go down crafter square and i'm like let's look at the wood there's good that's what she said so i go looking for wood not anymore i'm married mm -mm. so butterfly dragonfly are there christmas um these are wine bottle bags ready i'm just gonna show you guys this i'm actually gonna open this up right now and show you this is not a wine bottle bag. This is a gnome hat. Okay? So look for him. And when if I was going to do one, I don't know that I'll get to this or not. I'm just showing you guys. But if I was going to make a gnome hat, I would fold the top part in like this. And then just gather this right here like twine it all together. And I actually really even like the little things here because it kind of like you could, it kind of looks like it's just little hang downs from a hat. What do they call those? Anyway, but I feel like you could almost make these little earmuffs or something. Okay, but you get where I'm going? This is most definitely a gnome hat. Most definitely. So keep an eye out for those if you're into gnomes. It's the wine bottle. It's the wine bottle bag. I found this sign, which I'd never seen before, which I think is super cute. And this sign I absolutely think should be on a wreath. So we wish you a very Merry Christmas on your front door. It'd be super cute. Um, I thought of something else with it too. What was it? I can remember now. Anyway, I think it's super cute. It would look really super cute on a wreath front door. And I just, I like it. I like the shape of it. Um, I mean, you could use it in so many ways too. It doesn't just have to be a sign. It could be, I don't know. I think of other things. But, so there you go. I love this. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And then, oh, I know what I was thinking. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. I was like, well, I knew I was thinking something. So take, this is a great idea for signs like this. If you want to upscale something that you're giving somebody, so take a bag. I know they have beautiful bags at the Dollar Tree, but you don't have to go. You can make your bag a gift. So you take a bag, a plain, plain bag that you have like every day in your bag supply for gifts and you glue it on here and it becomes the front of your bag and then you put your tissue paper in and then you've given them, you give them a cute little sign with their bag. Of course, outline the edges, three-dimensionalize this, okay? Throw some candy canes around the side. You get where I'm going. All right, that'd be really cute actually, candy canes on it. Look, candy canes here, candy canes here, three-dimensionalized. 
Darken the sides out. Okay, maybe I'll do that for a totally easy Tuesday. Found this baby and I really like this. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm probably gonna do absolutely nothing to it. It's super thin, look at this. So it's a little tray, it's super thin. And I'm gonna put magnets on it, put it on my fridge. I think it's so cute. I think it screams going on my fridge with some magnets. It'd be super easy to put some magnets on the back. Um, for instance, I'm going to tell you guys one thing that I do. This is, um, this is my farmer's insurance guy. He sends me one of these every year. That's great. I put it, I use it all the time. I should tell him that. So, but I could take this and glue it on to the back of this once the year's over, which it almost is. I can even do two. So I save all these. I never throw away the magnets. I save them. So put two of them and then use it as a magnet afterwards. So this is reusing those kinds of things. But... This is going to definitely become a magnet on my fridge. It'll probably be one of my 25 days of Christmas thing. Just because I love to throw in super easy ones that are just fun. And I might even give a little three-dimensional to the Christmas tree there. Or, oh, actually, I probably will do this. Throw some buttons in here. Do a little three-dimensionalizing of this. Maybe even wrap this in ribbon so it's not so gold. And put a little star on top of my tree. Some things like that. I feel like this needs a little more dimension, so I would probably take a paint marker and just add some black into some of these areas to give it a little more dimension. Also, take a little piece of the galvanized tin and run it here like the step up board, be super cute. So I probably will do that for one of my 25 days of Christmas and make it this really cute refrigerator magnet. These would be great in a gift basket, by the way, as well. Okay, toys. So now they're popping out with all the Christmas toys, right? I. I I could not help myself. I had to pick this up just to show you guys. I'm gonna cut the tape. Literally had to show you guys because I was like, how many of you remember the Barbie doll head that you could do the style her hair and all that? I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Okay, so I find this. And first of all, that looks scary, doesn't it? Just like sitting in there like that. And then I was like, wait. Look at, check this out. You get this doll with hair on it. You get a little brush. There's so many things I've thought of for this doll. But I'm gonna give you a couple ideas right now. So, oh, um, I think this is actually kind of a cute little thing for a little girl and actually I might use it. I haven't done my donation thing yet at Kids Basket or something and I might use it for that. Because, but first of all, look at the hair, it's all uneven. Anyway, um, and it's all falling out. But the little girls do love this kind of stuff, and it's it's super cute. It's super small. This really isn't bad, you guys. I was trying to think if they had um, other color hair and all that. To be quite honest, I didn't even look because I was just like, oh, my gosh, you're kidding me. And I was running through with Marcus, right? So um, I think this is kind of clever. But this these kind of things, I think, are like you could make so many spooky things, too, like at Halloween. <laughs> Something like this. How about just make a big dress cake? I guess that wouldn't work though because we don't have the top. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so you could also pull this all apart because it'd be a great stand for a gnome. You could make a gnome. No, I don't know. No, you can't. Anyway, it's just cute. It reminds me of the Barbie head. Probably it's the only thing that can be used for is to give to a little girl, but I would add cute little accessories. So they have baby bows in the baby area, but they also have little tiny clips that they sell in their hair area. They sell the little rubber bands. It'd be super cute little gift to give, I don't know, like a neighbor kid or something like that. I really don't think this is too bad. I'm kind of impressed. It wasn't, it wasn't, a, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. So that's out there available and it comes with a little brush. That's, I think that's cute as well. I'm not sure I can get this back in here now. Oh, well, we'll do it later. All right, moving on. So in the, like, sock aisle, I picked up some more of the Essie. See, these are super good buy. They're microfiber with aloe infused. I love these. They're wonderful. I'm wearing them every day now to work because I wear tennis shoes, and I'm the girl. I don't want my socks to show. Like, I put on tennis shoes, and I put on the non-shows um, because, you know, anyway. So... I threw a few more of those in my bag, just for me. Wait, 
Glade. New scents. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. So, Kirk Cookie Caramel Rush. Limited edition. Notes of vanilla and cookie caramel. Let's try. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. It smells exactly like I thought it would smell. And this one is Cranberry Oh So Merry. Notes of cranberry and champagne. Get up in the morning and be like, shh. Let's have mimosas. I like this one better, FYI. All right, so... I just grabbed one of each. I'm actually not in need of aerosol. Um, so I might actually take these to work to put them in the, the bathroom at work. Guys work there. Um, but I want to show you guys. So these are brand new. Let's see, they're eight ounces, limited edition. These are their limited edition, so you know they come out and then they're gone. This one's better. I think this one's way better. But I'm just not about sp spraying a room with, I don't know, I'll light a candle that smells like a cookie. Something else about, I don't know. But speaking of spraying rooms, so last week I hauled the ocean spray and I put it into my 25 days of Christmas for the grandkids. Those boxes are all done. I hope you guys liked that idea. It was fun. Oh, and I used some of your sayings that you sent me, so thank you. So I found these little made in the USA. Um, it's by Aramar and it, Room Mist. These are called Room Mist. But I found these. So there's Gardenia. This one is Mediterranean Sage. This one is Cherry Blossom. And this one is Royal Linens. These are such great little stocking stuffers. And I know it says room spray, but in your car. Be fabulous. It's like the perfect size. It'll fit in your glove box. You just, especially if you have um, um, seats that are linen and, or, um, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I have seat covers, so... I don't know. I'm just thinking these are fabulous. I'm not going to, am I going to, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll smell them for you. Okay, this one's Royal Linens. Oh, that smells good. That does smell good. This one is Cherry Blossoms. Mmm, mmm, I do like, but you know, I love Gardenia, so I think that's going to be my favorite, Gardenia, white Gardenia. Ooh. So the gardenia has the has the greenery leaf smell as part of it too. Does that make sense? Like you can, it's like you can smell the fresh greenery, the green leaves on a gardenia plant. And Mediterranean sage. Yeah, there's sage in there. Okay, but you guys, I think these are phenomenal. It's two fluid ounces, fragrance for cleansing clarity. Wait, do they all say something? They do. I didn't even see that. Dang it. Fragrance for Cleansing Clarity is the sage one. Fragrance for Romantic Elegance. Put that in the bedroom. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Fragrance for Uplifting Vitality. Sounds like a car one. And Fragrance for Refreshing Comfort. Living room, car, yeah. Okay, these are amazing stocking stuffers. And actually, I found five cents, but I gave away the... the the ocean ones because this would have been a great five dollar gift as well like to put the five of them and bundle them all up together with some twine make a really really cute gift all right so speaking of fragrance then i found this i should have looked this up i'm gonna look it up right now so let me tell you about it this is you essence candle so look at this packaging i think the packaging is incredibly high-end looking so that's what drew me to it initially and they had it up on the um, up on the top shelf. You candles. Let's see. You. Um. Mm, yep. Listen, I'm just gonna show you here right now. Let me pull this up. Look at that. See on the side there. You. Look at all those. None of them are a dollar. So I found them for a dollar. So this is you essence candle, um, and. You essence candles made of mainly soy wax infused with 100% essential oil extracted from natural yew trees. Didn't even know there was such a thing called a yew tree. Yew tree, my tree, our tree. Um, our, cleaning, our clean burning artisan candles are handcrafted in small batches using lead-free cotton wicks. You essence candles is 100% vegan. It is petroleum free and contains no paraffin waxes, no synthetic dyes, no artificial scents, and no harmful 
plus what? I don't know what that word is. All right. When you light a U essence candle, you will experience the power of pure plant energy. Bursting into your surrounding and lifting your soul, you will feel the love we pour into every one of our candles. Okay, so this is a very high-end candle at the Dollar Tree. Those people that want it. It's not just stuff made in China. No, it's not all just stuff made in China. You can find some amazing things there. I don't want to ruin the box because I'm actually going to give these away. Got that one open. I bought two. Okay, so, but look, it's just a, this is a sweet little candle. But you guys, it's, oh, whoa, look at that. Just popped up. Ooh, wow. It smells so earthy, but in a good way. Something like that. Okay. Anyway, keep your eye out. This is a very high-end product that they have there. You. You candle. And what a beautiful Christmas-looking box, right? Mm, love it, love it, love it. Oh, my gosh. What I have left is so boring. I bought some more gooby gum because I'm almost out of it, and I keep it on my craft card. I bought some scotch tape for wrapping all those gifts that I'm going to have to wrap this year. And then I found, first of all, I bought this there before. This is the candle lighter by um, Butane Candle Lighter. Quick and convenient for lighting candles. Okay, no big deal. This is there all the time. But I have these candles I'm giving away for Christmas. So everyone's getting one of these plus one of their candle putter outer things. But then I found this. And I was like, wait, what is this? Neon Multi-Purpose Lighter Refillable. Hey, let's look this one up too. Neon multi-purpose lighter. So this is ignition switch, adjustable flame wand, um, locking mechanisms, and gas. You can refill it, which is like, hey, love that. Let's look this up super quick. Neon, neon lighter. Is this butane? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Okay, neon lighter. Yep, 233, they've got one, uh, yeah, these are, it's not a bad price. They have one for 695 on eBay, same exact thing. Okay, but it's refillable. That's what I was gonna get to, is it's refillable, so that's great. So my son-in-law, for the wedding, he went around lighting all the candles and everything, and there was a lot of stuff to light, and he broke all the sticks and put them in the Captain Morgan bottles. He was, anyway, that was his job. He had to light up all the battery-operated lights, light all the candles, break all the sticks, and put them in the Captain Morgan bottles, you know, before everybody got here. Anyway. So I wanted to send him like some lighters and, and Marx goes, you can't mail lighters. And I was like, oh yeah. Cause I thought it would have been really funny just to send him an array of lighters, but I can't. Okay. That's it. That's my home. All right, you guys, don't forget today's the last day. I mean, today's the day I need you to send in all of your challenge things that you did. And it was a, it was a gift for a child and it could have been just a gift basket full of stuff to donate to your church or somewhere where they, you know, there were, or Toys for Tots or something like that, put together a craft for a child, anything like that would have been fine. Um, so don't forget to share those with me via Facebook. And also, um, Wednesday will start my 25 days of Christmas. Tuesday, I'll be back here for the $5, five for five, which is our five gift baskets that are $5. Both, it's a collaboration with Amy from Bargain Mama. You know I love Amy. She's so hysterical. She sent me a picture. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I can show it to you. Amy, I don't think I'll be upset. She sends me a picture yesterday of um, her mom. <laughs> this is really funny. Um, I have to find it. I have to find it. I have to find it. She sends me a picture. This is at her mom's house. And she goes, totally made me think of you. And I'm dying. I'm like, oh my God, please tell me he has a name. So I guess he calls him Rudolph. No, Rudolphi or Rudolph. Um, during Christmas time, then there's some other name, which is secret, I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Anyway, Effingham, don't be jealous. It's just people sharing with me their wall animals. That's what Effingham is. You're a wall animal. It's better than a wallflower. Boom, boom. Okay, guys, have a great day, great week, a great life. Don't forget little kitty snippet after, after this because they were just being funny last night when we got home. And I will see you guys back here on Tuesday for 5 for 5 collab with Amy from Bargain Mama. Okay, guys, have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree or Dollar Tree Plus? At your Dollar Tree. Bye, guys. Bye, besties. Love you. See you Tuesday.
always. You gotta come up to me always. I'm just trying to film you. Friday. I know, Freddy. Freddy. Oh, Freddy wants to do this. 